Uh, here I have two copies of Hogan's Alley, um, both with different labels. Um, as most people know, there are different labels with the Nintendo games. Uh, the Seal of Approval is the most common one that people know of, um, as where some of the older games had the black and gold Seal of Approval, and then some of the later games would have the white and gold Seal of Approval. Um, so you may have a game, you may have two of the same games, and they may have two different seal of approvals. What's weird about these two Hogan's Alleys, they're both old cartridges, they both have no tabs, they both have the, uh, five screw backs, they actually both, um, are, are older versions of these, these uh, Hogan's Alley games, and they both have Famicom converters inside. The weird difference is that even though they both look the same on the front, the insides look the same, the seal of approvals are both black and gold, the actual labels are orange and white, and there's no discoloration on the white label, it just looks like for whatever reason it came out to be a white label. Um, I had other Hogan's Alley cartridges, and none of these had white labels. They all have the orange label. So it's just something interesting that I noticed, and uh, I'd be interested to see what people think about them, if there's any specific reason why they think this happened on a few of the cartridges, um, and if anyone else has one or has seen them, it'd be interesting to see. But it's something to keep your eyes open for, because there are many different uh, labeled NES and... Uh, if you're looking for a different one, you're trying to collect them all, that, that, that may be something you want to keep your eyes open for.